Hey, what's going on guys? Deontay vs. Halo 3 here, aka The Dinner Warrior, and today I'm going to be talking to you all about the new update that went live for Call of Duty Ghosts. Now, this update is available for the Xbox One, Xbox 360, PS3, and the PS4, and PC. Now, without further ado, let's get on with the update now. The first thing that they've updated now is the, the kill streak balance. They've updated that now. The Vulture now lives for 90 seconds now in line with the sentry gun, so it has a more extended time for how long you use the Vulture. And next off, we have Juggernaut buff, the assault Juggernaut, of course. Now, they they probably made it stronger, which I don't know why they would, because that thing is already a monster of a kill streak when you get it. But oh well, I'm not complaining about that. Next off, we have the assault movement speed it has been increased to 15%. So now, if your your kill streaks consist of using an assault class like UAV, Guard Dog, and and uh, let's say Juggernaut Maniac, you would you you would move faster as a person if you were to have that equipped. Then next is the uh, the support movement kill streak has been increased by 5% in speed, which is in my opinion, probably now overpowered. That's why I'm using the support kill streak now in this video. But uh, next up is the the assault support and juggernaut now have focus perks. So pretty much that means that if you were you're getting shot at, once you get the kill streak and you're being shot at, you pretty much have less flinch. So so yeah, I guess that's good. I don't know why the uh, support juggernaut would need it. He just runs around with a riot shield. But oh well, I'm not complaining about that. Um, next off is the Loki buff. Loki has been buffed, so I guess, I don't know why they're making a lot of these kill streaks that are already overpowered stronger, but I'm not, <laughs> I'm just telling you all <laughs> what's new in the update, but me personally, I don't think, I don't think that's fair, but next up, large rod can now be fired every four seconds instead of seven, and the rod fires at 1.5 seconds instead of 2 seconds after triggers been pulled. So it is, it pretty much they just made the whole rod system faster. Now the small rods are now at 0 0.3 seconds instead of 0 0.5 after trigger pull. Now that's the end of the kill streak balance. Now on to the esports for my for my MLG gamers and stuff. The e pretty much the uh, the e support update is pretty much now where. They've added the ability to name teams when using broadcaster mode, which is a good thing. You get to call out the names of teams and stuff. You know, if you're if you want to be like a MLG game announcer and stuff and voice caster, you, you got that option now. Next up is the added team name to player card when in spectator mode. Next up, uh, when esports rules are enabled for search and destroy on strike zone, the non-destroyed version of the map is always used. So you don't have to worry about the game well actually in strike zone when you call in the KEM and it changed the map layout it makes it totally different and I know a lot of people get mad at that so that's a good thing for the esports people now and second off and last for the the esports update they removed d-pad helicopter icon when in first and third person spectator mode I don't know if that was a problem before but I guess they got rid of it now Next off, the, uh, the anti-cheats, of course, overall the, the anti-cheats have been improved and stuff, so less cheaters and less glitches and stuff like that. Uh, next off, we have the additional fixes. Uh, they, fixed, they fixed the search and destroy rounds not ending when an entire team has been killed, and thank God for that because I know I would be in a round where my whole team would be down or the other team would be completely wiped out and we would have to wait till the time ran out and if we're to, uh, planting the bomb we would just plant the bomb so it would go by faster but, but yeah that's a good thing they finally got rid of that next off is they fixed the issues where players could trigger a 10 second cap instead of 5 after stepping off and on a neutral flag I guess that's uh, for domination people I really don't play domination but <laughs> Uh, I I know for a fact that when I would step off of it, just by like a little millisecond or probably a second, it would it would always say that I wasn't capturing the flag and I have to go back over there and recap it again, which is stupid. But they they finally got rid of that. All right, let's see now. Next off, uh, they fixed the issues that allow players to see enemy positions and options menu mini map during the kill cam. Now, for those that don't know, if you were to die. Oh, I, I noticed this too when I would die and I would go to change my class layout I could see exactly where the enemy teams were because it would act like I was the enemy but they finally got rid of that but yeah they're just I don't see why they 
didn't notice that to begin with. But uh, I'm not complaining. But uh, next thing up, improved patch unlocking requirements in UI. Added patch quip and unlock requirements. Uh, let's see. Fix persistent new icon that would occur with extra loadouts. Now that right there is annoying to sell. I know, I, like me personally, I don't know anyone else. You know, my OCD kicks in when <laughs> I see that I've already looked at everything that's new that they've added to the customization uh, creator class and stuff, and it would still say new, and it would really piss me off. But because you have to switch to and from male to female in order for you to get rid of it, which is stupid because it's the exact same thing for for each gender, but yeah, they finally got rid of that. Uh, next off is the updated safeguard to send out a standard notification of a kill. I <laughs> I don't even go to what is it? What is that game mode? I I don't even go on it. But uh, it's like when you face the AIs and stuff. I forgot the name of it. But uh, oh well, moving on from that. Uh, they fixed rare end of match crashes. So pretty much like if. I never encountered this, but it pretty much means when you were in a, a lobby where the game would end and it would end and you probably win or lose, doesn't matter, it would crash. The whole game would completely crash and you wouldn't get the XP that you would if you would have ended the game completely. Now, you get rid of, they fixed that and everything's buffed and stuff. Now, next off is the Hunted Victor Operation Fix. Works better with gun game. Previous fix only allowed top players to get credit. And now we allow top three consistent with free for all. Next off from that, hijackery operation fix. Operation would get stuck at tier two. It now rolls properly back to zero to ten and tier two for players. Next off from that, fixed an issue where the bots and reinforce would uh, not leave a flag after capturing. So pretty much. The AIs were set to camp after they captured the flag. They got rid of that. Um, heading on that, heading on to the new features now. They added a reset stats options. Now, if you do have a bad win-loss or KD ratio, or your stats on the leaderboard aren't where you want it to be when you hit 10 prestige, you can you can reset your stats and start over again. Hopefully, do better. But uh, yeah, that's that's the best part. And moving on from that, they changed the uh, the final hit marker for the kill to orange now I don't know why they did this but they they did it but yeah it makes it easier for you to know that you killed the person last hit marker will be orange and uh and what else did they add? they added a uh they added the new theme music for multiplayer and extinction and for those of you that don't know they do change their their musics for multiplayer every time they uh Every time they come out with a DLC, and since this, uh, since today is the release day for the last DLC for Ghost, I think this might be the the uh, the music that we're gonna hear for the rest of our time playing Call of Duty Ghosts. Now, before this game is for the people that play Call of Duty Ghosts on Xbox 360 and Xbox One, they did come out with a patch where they fixed the rare loss of rank issues that would occur when swiping between Xbox 360 and Xbox One. So you no longer have to worry about uh you no longer have to worry about losing your your stats when you're switching to and from. <laughs> I know a lot of people are probably scared about oh I'm level 50 and then they well, I get back to to Xbox 360 version I'm level 45 and I gotta go back up. It's stupid, but they did fix that. So yeah, there you guys have it. That is the update patch that came out August 4th. Now, thank you all for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. I left a link in the description to my last video, so go ahead and check that out if you missed it. And what are your thoughts on this? Or do you like this update? Or do you is there still some things that they haven't fixed that you want them to fix? Uh, let me know in the comment sections down below. This is the Dental Warrior signing out. Peace out, killers.